All right, again, uh, David, head of customer success with the team here. I uh, just want to like, thank everyone for coming out today. Thanks for being able to attend. Uh, we hope this is uh, you know, a lot of val valuable information for you guys. Uh, a handful of different groups represented on the call today. Uh, obviously, uh, a handful of customers, um, you know, firms who have already received the Great Recruiter Certification, obviously, which is the topic uh, of the fireside chat today. How to best leverage that? Uh, we have great recruiter customers who are close to becoming great recruiter certified. You guys can see what that's all about and how to accomplish that. And then we also have um, a handful of companies who are just interested in learning more about great recruiters um, and what great recruiter certified can mean to them. Uh, we'll cover a bunch of important aspects here um, and we will have time at the end for questions and answers. If you guys do have questions as they pop up, please either toss them in the, um, in the Zoom chat, or you can raise like your, your digital um, Zoom hand. Uh, we ask that you guys do remain on mute just so there's no background noise as we dive in. Uh, and again, we are recording this. So if you do have to jump off early or want to share this with your team, uh, you guys can do so after the fact. So jumping in. Uh, again, so I'll be your host, uh, David, head of customer success. I'll be joined today by Jeff Policio, our head of marketing here at Great Recruiters. And um, you know, he worked very closely with Adam Conrad on uh, launching this certification. Uh, Jeff, you wanna say hi real quick? Hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a little bait and switch on this one, unfortunately. Uh, Adam seems to be a bit under the weather right now. Um, so we're hoping for a speedy recovery there. But um, yeah, in order to not have to reschedule or change things around for everybody, uh, I'm just going to jump in and kind of do my part in trying to explain the different benefits and things and make sure that we uh, hit all the, all the high points um, and you know, make sure that everybody understands sort of like what those, what the components of Great Recruiter Certified are and how you can use them and stuff like that. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to be helping out and uh, spreading the message. Beautiful. Well, we're happy to have you here today, Jeff. Uh, one last little shameless plug before I jump to the agenda. Uh, the team at Great Recruiters is growing. Uh, we are looking to hire a customer success manager uh, to work on the team here. So if you guys know anybody, um, obviously you guys are a bunch of awesome staffing and recruiting firms. If you guys know anyone, uh, send them my way. I'd be happy to chat with them. So diving into our agenda. A little too far there. Uh, we will look at, you know, kind of summarizing what is Great Recruiter Certified, uh, you know, the importance and the why around being Great Recruiter Certified. We'll cover the points on how to become Great Recruiter Certified, what to do after you hit that certification, and then uh, just kind of to round that out, what's next for Great Recruiters. So without further ado, uh, um, Again, we'll bring Jeff back in, but we know this uh, Great Recruiter Certification, you know, is a new accolade. Our goal coming into the 2021 calendar year, uh, a big initiative we have is really to recognize and, you know, elevate you guys as our partners. Uh, and we feel that this certification, you know, really helps do that. Those using uh, the Great Recruiters platform, um, you know, you guys already received that recognition. You guys are elevating your team and your company. So let's bring Jeff in here to tell us a bit more about this certification. Sure. So I think before we really dig into it, um, you know, I think we really need to discuss why. Uh, so you could actually go to the next slide there, David. Uh, you know, as we look at why, um, you know, we're kind of going down this route, you know, our industry doesn't really have a very good reputation. And, um, and we do believe that there are amazing experiences that are being had by candidates as they interact with staffing agencies, with the recruiters in the front line. Um, and so what we're trying to do is make sure that there's an opportunity for, um, for candidates to have a voice, for there to be some level of transparency and you know, to provide that uh, information, th those insights back to the organization in order to make lasting change and continue to improve experiences and provide world-class service. Um, so creating that transparency in ways that candidates can, um, candidates and clients can both identify who is greatest in the industry is really why we are leaning so heavily into Great Recruiter Certified and making that a, 
a cornerstone for the great recruiters product. Um, you know, there isn't currently today, uh, we don't feel that there is currently today a very good standard for the industry to follow. Um, a lot of it tends to be a little bit more ad hoc. I think that things, uh, there are the pockets where you can um, be reviewed or, or get some clarity around the experience that you provide. But there really hasn't been like a, a standardized component that's been created. Um, and so what we really do focus in on, uh, for those of you who obviously are on the software platform already, uh, David, you go to the next slide, is that, you know, the five key components in terms of um, ensuring quality uh, interactions and engagement during the, the journeys that your clients and candidates are having. And so we want to make sure that uh, we're, we're focused in on being genuine, responsive, experienced advisors and transparent, right? It's those five key qualities that really do round out the entire experience that someone's going to have uh, at any given point in your transactions. And so what does great recruiter certified mean? Uh, David, go to the next slide. Yep. There we go. We'll get this down by the end of the uh, by the end of the session, I'm sure. Uh, and so, what does this mean uh, in terms of uh, being great recruiter certified? Is that the recipients earn this distinction by having the process and the review ratings to demonstrate their commitment to providing the absolute best service possible? Um, and so, you know, the recipient's commitment to excellence uh, by offering a simple way to provide that transparency to the experiences is, is really providing a much stronger platform for job seekers to be able to, to sort of springboard from, right? And so, you know, making sure that there is um, a proven process, that there's transparent feedback, and, uh, and that honestly, like you're, you're being sort of held to the experience that you claim on your websites or in your, in your marketing materials. You know, I think that a lot of times we as organizations, we tend to believe that we've, uh, you know, we've established, you know, whatever that talking point is, that talk track, that's that sales deck. We've sort of established that baseline, and I think that sometimes it's challenging to have clarity as to the potency of that standard that we set. And so, what all of this does, uh, outside of the great recruiter certified, right, like what the feedback and that transparency creates is the opportunity to stay true to the things that you've claimed. It, stay, it gives the opportunity back to the organization and the, and the strength back to the organization to ensure that the standards that they set in place, which originated in many cases, the organizations that you have, that those are the standards that are actually being kept. Beautiful, well said. So you guys are probably wondering, like, what is the importance of this great recruiter certified? Is it just a badge? But you know, why is it really a big deal? Um, so you may have, have heard me talk about it. You may have heard uh, Adam talk about it. But when Adam started Great Recruiters, uh, you know, his inspiration came when he, when you Google recruiters are, uh, and like the pre-populated search in Google, um, you know, weren't really wowing anybody. They were pretty bad. Uh, Adam did have the goal of changing the reputation of the entire industry. Uh, so when we brought Jeff on the team, uh, him and Adam collaborated and had a lot of passion behind, you know, this certification. Um, so Jeff, you know, tell us why this is such a big deal and how these companies can really get the most out of this. Sure thing. As a train goes by, I apologize. Uh, <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> Yeah, so there aren't, there aren't any uh, quality control systems in place. The word systems that existed prior to establishing, a, a, you know, great recruiters, you know, they really did focus on, you know, a, a, an isolated uh, interaction in a vacuum with a predetermined, in many cases, stacked deck uh, to ensure that you're getting the responses that you need to generate the badge or the um, the notoriety or the exposure that you're looking for, right? Um, the trouble with that, like, first of all, it, it works to a certain extent, right? But the trouble with leaning too heavily into that side is that you're not getting the insights that you need 
to truly provide sustainable, excellent service. And so if you're only asking people who care about you or that you have a personal relationship with or that you know will give you a good review, if you're only asking certain individuals how that experience go is going, then you're missing out on, you know, I would say the lion's share of experiences that are being had. And so the, the days of gaming the systems are over. I think that, you know, as more, as more platforms become available as, uh, I mean, let's face it, we have a world of publishers. You know, if this was 20 years ago, we would have a very different conversation. But today we have a world of publishers out there. If you have a smartphone, if you have a, you know, a, a basic computer, you can write whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want. Uh, and so with that said, you know, it really is important to ensure that, um, that you are really taking their voices into consideration and then applying them to how you're going about your business. Um, and so, you know, we started uh, as sort of a benign Google rating um, element. There's now a whole bunch of offshoots, right? And, uh, and it's no longer about just saying that you do something or stacking the deck to get the token or badge or what have you. Um, but really what it comes down to is making sure that you truly are providing those services. You know, when we look at the data, because data speaks volumes, right? When we go back and we look at the data, if you're a great recruiter certified recruiting company, you're generally generating seven times more reviews. Now we're just talking about basic engagement, right? And the reason why that happens is you're doing it consistently and you're also um, taking that, that data back in and doing something with it. You know, that also speaks to the higher response rates, you know, 84% higher response rates than people typically get. Three times higher referrals. You know, this just all in all, it really beefs up and elevates your organization and provides a stronger online reputation and creates, you know, advocacy among your, your candidates uh, to which really, you know, it, it obviously pushes all back up. And that's, that's where all of these pieces do really fit into a business development model. Yeah, and Jeff, just on that point, you know, I had a call yesterday and a client mentioned that, um, you know, they got a, a negative review, but were able to go out, uh, work with that candidate, um, you know, something that was something that was brought to light that they, you know, obviously wouldn't have been aware of prior, but it brought this situation to light. They went out and worked with that candidate, um, ended up placing that candidate, and then getting two referrals and placing both of those people. So, you know, yeah. if you're picking the people you want to send to or whatever it was, you know, you're missing out on making your team better and your company better. You know, there's always going to be outliers. The one thing to, to always remember, right? First of all, we're not going to make everybody happy. I think we all understand that. Um, so, but, so you're going to have your outliers. You're going to have people that just aren't going to be happy. And you're going to have people that are always going to be happy. But like in the middle, in the middle, you have great data. And if we, if we overlook that, that information and do nothing with it, then what ends up happening is we tend to spoil those relationships that live in the middle because we lean too heavily on the ones that always love us. So with that said, you know, it's um, just to your point, David, right? Like it's not just an opportunity to generate more referrals and have seven times more reviews and all that stuff, right? Like that, all those things are great, but it also provides that transparency to the experience that's being had and giving you an opportunity to correct something before it becomes a bigger issue. So taking those insights in, using them to reach out to that person, making sure that either A, it was a one-off scenario, a misunderstanding or whatever it was, and then providing some opportunity to remedy that, that goes the distance when it comes to that client engagement, right? That client or candidate engagement. So I agree with you hundred percent, David. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, so obviously some of you guys are already great recruiter certified, so you know the qualifications, but you know, we really want to establish, um, you know, this as the authority on what candidates and clients want. Um, so through the platform now, you know, and looking at over, uh, no, not, not 13,000, 
130,000 uh, reviews, talking with clients, um, you know, just industry insight, listening to what's going on. We put together, um, you know, Jeff, Adam, the team, what, um, you know, we want the industry standard to be certified as a great recruiting, um, you know, company, as a firm, as an agency, uh, you know, one that candidates and clients can look to uh, or look for this certification when seeking out to work with the best of the best. Um, and, you know, Jeff, you know, talk about the criteria here and why each of these uh, is important to becoming certified. Sure. So, you know, look, the reality is that when when staffing agencies are on great recruiters, they outperform uh, in terms of the feedback, the uh, the reviews, the referrals, et cetera. Um, and it would be very easy for us to sit back and say, well, you know, if you're on great recruiters and, you know, your, your feedback is going to be better and all these things are going to be better and therefore you're great recruiter certified. But we didn't stop there, right? Because again, we are always pushing in order to try to help our clients achieve excellence and, and make sure that they're maintaining that world-class service. And so with that said, you know, we, we really pressed to up the ante uh, in order to make sure not only that like the reviews hit a certain uh, quality, a certain uh, feedback response, but that nobody had the opportunity to also game the system and that people had to show consistency in that and that they were committed to putting all these pieces together. So as you look through, you know, these, what is it, seven uh, bullets here? As you look through these seven bullets for the qualifications to, to becoming Great Recruiter Certified, what this really does is nestle in um, the ideology behind exercising your abilities on Great Recruiters, right? And so, you know, ensuring that you've been on the platform for a minimum of six months gives you enough time in, in order to make sure that, uh, you're not um, that you're not being dragged down by maybe one bad review or that you're not just being pushed up by one good review, right? Like it's starting to help you build out your averages. Um, you know, getting a, a certified feedback solicitation process, that is a mouthful. I didn't even think about how that would read. Um, <laughs> so, but having a certified process in place, um, again, it provides consistency. It, it shows your level of commitment to um, making sure that there is good transparent feedback. Having the review links and the recruiter signatures, making sure that all the recruiters in an organization are being reviewed and not just your, you know, your, your A team, right? But that everybody in the organization is being reviewed. At that time, we also wanna make sure that um, for those recruiters, that there's a minimum of 35% of them that are GR certified from the recruiter level. Um, we're also looking for a minimum rating because we want to be able to see that not only, not only are you exercising all these things, putting stuff in place and, and dedicating that time component in terms of like the time in, um, but that you're also using that information in order to continue to improve the experience that people are having with you. And so by doing that, we want to make sure that you're at a minimum of not 4.5, but 4.6, right? If you're at 4.6 or stronger, um, then that's, that's the, the leverage there. And then lastly, um, you know, we want to make sure that, again, we are doing what we can as a third party to provide, you know, really good transparency and show that, um, you know, we're in support of the feedback that you're getting just as much as you are, that the organization has to have a public facing uh, GR company profile. And so that that way, it just sort of like, it, it uh, ensures that um, we're, we're also staying consistent with all the companies that, um, that we work with. Beautiful. Um, so moving ahead now, I mean, you know, you've earned the certification or are close to it. You know, what do you do with it? Um, so really, you know, your team elevated their performance, uh, you know, really embraced this, uh, you know, cycle of feedback and the company and, and the team is better because of it. Uh, you know, you guys are now great recruiters certified. Um, you know, probably wondering how to best leverage this for, you know, future growth, uh, more awareness. You know, we provided, um, you know, those packets with a bunch of, um, you know, email signatures and stuff. But, you know, this is more than just a one-off, you know, throw it in your website footer. Um, you know, let's bring Jeff back. Jeff, tell us, you know, how people, um, you know, what they should do once they receive the certification. Sure, sure. So, um you can go to the next slide. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> so, I mean, listen, if you, if you don't know us already, right, we love our acronyms. Uh, baked into the name of the company, great, genuine, responsive, experienced advisor, and transparent. Um, I love the fact that we use camp as well because we sort of branded up the fireside chat and camp came together at the same time. So what do you do now that you have this great recruiter certified uh, component, uh, this, this arrow in your quiver, the feather in your cap? Well, now it's time to celebrate it, acknowledge it, market it, and promote it, right? This is, this is the chance for you to really push forward and um, share the fact that your experiences are far better than your competition, right? Uh, and so, you know, utilizing those badges in given places, as David said, when we did the, um, the brand guide for Great Recruiter Certified, we even included in there templates that you can use for your company um, LinkedIn page where, you know, we weren't sure if people are going to have designers or not on staff. And so it's really simple where you can simply drop your um, logos onto a lot of those components and just use them as backgrounds. And, you know, you can, you also, you know, at a, at a staffing firm level, you also have an opportunity to, to lean into that space. Um, and so you can go to the next slide. Yeah. So, so let's really discuss kind of like how this relates back in from a, a business perspective, right? So promoting is probably the most important key part here. I mean, listen, celebrating and acknowledging and marketing, it's all those pieces. But once you have all that stuff together, it's the promotion that really helps to gain traction on this. And so um, we're recommending that you you know, really press this into your conversations and communicate it um, in your job postings, on your website, your recruiter profiles, email communications. Like we want you to be able to use this as a tool in order to then illustrate why someone should move forward with you. Um, you know, the feedback that you provide, uh, the feedback, I'm sorry, that's provided gives you that visibility to the underlying issues, transparency and accountability. Um, it does all of those things for you. And so by having that come through, you have the ability to make those adjustments, continue to provide amazing service. Um, it, it goes hand in hand when you're having client conversations. David. <laughs> well, sure, if you were done or not there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, yeah, guys, so I mean, you know, that kind of wraps up the, the great recruiter certification. Again, we're super excited about it. Um, you know, a lot of the companies on this call have, again, already received it. Some are very close. Um, again, something great to leverage, not only just internally for the team, but as Jeff just kind of touched on, from that promotional standpoint. Um, you know, the more you can talk about it, and again, using it in RFPs, whatever it is, really getting it out there um, and, and just kind of, you know, sharing that and making that the, the staple in the marketplace. Uh, so looking ahead a little bit, um, obviously we have a uh, um, pretty extensive, um, you know, plan for great recruiters, a lot of things coming down the pipeline, uh, a lot on the horizon per se. So our development team, uh, you know, is that hard at work? You know, improving some of the current functionality, but also working on some new features. Uh, let's bring Jeff in one last time to touch on uh, some of the new stuff coming down the pipeline. Sure. So, you know, as we as we see how the uh, the current structure, right, in order to get feedback around the candidate experience, um, we see how impactful that is. We see how important it is in generating not only um, good feedback and getting referrals, but also how we can then use that to address maybe some gaps in our execution or maybe um, some pitfalls in sort of the delivery uh, mechanisms that you might have at your organizations. Um, so in sort of advancing that ball, um, one of the things that's gonna be coming up is the ability to configure reviews organizationally wide, right? So org wide, you'll be able to have reviews come through for the interactions and engagements that are happening in your back office. I mean, the interactions that are happening with your reception, um, any of those individuals that are in your organization, you'll be able to have feedback come through um, into great recruiters, which uh, correct me if I'm wrong, David, I don't believe we're looking this, this won't be um, published. This isn't like an external component. This is just strictly internal. Yeah. 
I'll say, yeah, as of right now, the configurable reviews come back in and will be, you know, internal measurements. So you can look at, you know, Jeff mentioned a couple, but compliance and payroll are some that some partners have expressed interest in. Um, and just getting that feedback that you guys can get use internally, learn more about uh, the candidates and clients interactions with your team. Yeah. So, I mean, what that basically does for all those companies, for all of you on the call um, that are using the feedback to continue to improve and tighten up and find opportunities for innovation and provide world-class service to your candidates and to your clients, this does the same exact thing in the remainder of your company. So this really does provide you the opportunity to get that transparency in order to make sure that, again, the rest of your organization is living to the expectations that you set when you originated it. Um, as of the second one there, you know, measuring outside your organization, uh, this sort of speaks a little bit more to the, the experience that maybe your contractor is having at a placement. So once you've actually placed someone at a job, you know, sometimes that can fall into a little bit of a black hole, right? Where it's, it's maybe not as transparent in terms of what's actually happening there. This will give you the opportunity to really dig into that a little bit and understand, you know, about the facility, about who they're working for, about the environment and so forth. And you'll be able to really understand what they're experiencing. And again, it gives you the opportunity to triage a, a given issue or, or maybe identify a potential problem before it becomes bigger. Um, and let's face it, you know, your candidates are gonna love your ability to be proactive and so will your clients, right? Like this, it, I think 90% of the time, you know, issues come about as a, as a, a situation of a lack of awareness. This gives you that awareness so that you don't have to be surprised to be caught off guard and react. Um, and last is, you know, we're, we're working on being able to provide more opportunities to get found. So, you know, just like we have the company facing profiles where we try to um, be an extension of your brand beyond uh, your website and your conversations and your social media, um, we're looking for additional opportunities to be able to help you, um, you know, expose more about the services that you provide and, or the experiences, I apologize, the experiences that you provide in being able to um, really elevate those companies that are, are just doing exceptional service getting great feedback um, and continuing to innovate. So those are some of the things that are coming up on the horizon. And if you want more information about that um, or any of those features, uh, David George would be a fantastic person to, to reach out to. Um, he can give you some more of the details and also take a look at your accounts and see you know, how it would interact with what it is that you have happening. And, and I mean, David, we could even like, you know, take a look and see, make sure they're using all the features that they have now. That's the plan and kind of stole my line there. I was going to suggest that they reach out to me. Yeah. If you guys have any questions on any, uh, obviously current functionality or want to learn more about, um, you know, how these configurable reviews can add to what, uh, the great stuff you already have going. Um, most of you have my email, if not David at great recruiters, but, uh, yeah, happy to talk about that, jump on a call and, uh, and see what we got going on. Nice. So David, I don't know if you, um, Oh, the recap, sorry. I was gonna say before the recap, uh, we're coming up on the Q and A. If you guys have questions, um, toss them in the Zoom chat, um, or we'll get to them in a second. But Jeff, recap real quick. Sure. So look, you know the the GR certified is a unique differentiator, right? Um, it is something that you should wear as a badge of honor. It's something that does really elevate your company, and it's not just from like what. It does obviously uh, extrinsically in terms of generating referrals and everything else, but it truly means that you, your, your services, like the experiences that you provide align with your messaging. And so you don't need to say it anymore. You can now lean on the fact that someone else, a third party has vetted it out. And that we're also saying that based on your consistent um, uh, 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 process, and by virtue of getting that consistent feedback that we too are certifying that you, um, you are GR certified, you are an elevated brand. So the GR certified also provides you, you know, it, it proves that you have that quality of service. It certifies that, uh, you know, um, you're going to continue to gain recognition to the experiences that you provide. And so these badges, I don't believe they're up on the profile pages just yet. Am I right, David? Those are coming up soon. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. So, so soon we'll have uh, this jumping back in um, on the company profile pages through the platform. Uh, the Great Recruiter Certified Badge will soon be added to those who have already received uh, the certification. Yeah. And so, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, even as we looked at the things that we were exploring for the new features that are coming down the road, we want to make sure that everyone has a voice. And the reason why that's really important is not just to make sure that that person is heard, but to give all the people, like all the, the staffing agencies, to give you guys the information you need to ensure that your experiences that you're providing live up to the expectations that you're setting with what you're saying. So that's it. Beautiful. And we'll open it up for some Q&A. I did see a couple come in to the question here. Looks like, I will say they're direct to me. Um, yeah, so we'll run through a couple of questions here with Jeff and I. Um, so let's see what we got. We got one. So how are your clients and uh, or how, how are your clients using the recruiting review data and their GR certification to gain more business? Um, you know what? I think, do we have a, one of our salespeople on? Yeah, I'm here, Jeff. Oh, nice. JG, do you want to, uh, do you want to sort of speak to that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm glad you guys uh, kind of brought that up. So um, obviously you guys are, everyone on it is pretty familiar with what Great Recruiters does. Um, and as kind of David and Jeff laid out, we're able to gather um, feedback, right? And data <laughs> on other part, bless you, on uh, other parts of, uh, of your organization, right? So uh, we do it with your account managers, as, as David and Jeff mentioned we're starting to gather uh, feedback on the actual facilities, which has proved to be very valuable. But um, a, a good way to just use that basic, kind of basic recruiter data um, to, to gain more business. So we're seeing that the account managers, even if they're not getting feedback on the sales team, they're still kind of working with their recruiters to say, hey, our recruitment team is at this standard and here's what people have to say about them. And, and it's actually led to a few of my clients winning um, new contracts, uh, whether they're direct contracts or contracts with uh, VMS MSPs. Um, and it kind of also just creates a little bit more, I hate the word synergy, but like engagement between the account managers and the recruiters, right? So uh, when they actually go in and, and ex extend their footprint is what we've seen a lot on the, um, uh, on my, the healthcare side. If they're in a facility, uh, they can actually use the recruiter data to go in and, and expand that uh, that footprint and uh, and kind of push out some of their their competition. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and I'll I'll add one thing to that. I mean, I had a, a client. I mean, it was probably a couple of months ago now, but um, I just of course just lost my train of thought. Um, great. <laughs> some things never leave you. Right. Worst time you never. <laughs> um, oh, I'm a road bus. Yeah. So th they were. Um, from from the sales side, um, they were having their salespeople like you know if they knew uh, you know the, you know sending out an RFP proposal to this new client and they knew that you know recruiter Bob Sarah and Sandy were going to handle that account if they landed it, showing that client, hey you know here's these three recruiters who would be handling your account, um, you know if you guys come on board. Check out what candidates say about working with them. Here's their profile. Here's some reviews about them. You know, they're top notch, you know, and using that to, to help, you know, I guess add a level of comfort with those clients. So that's a, that's a great, it's a great example too, David. Like many times, you know, I think that when you go from one staffing firm to the other, especially in dealing with an RFP where it's, um, it's such, it's so highly transactable, um, provide that value that someone else can't would be my suggestion, right? Because what are staffing firms saying other than, hey, we've got a pool of candidates that are somehow different from the pool of candidates that the next place has. I've got better relationships. I can do, you know, obviously there are some unique components. Staffing firms are like snowflakes. No two are the same from the front to the back office. But at the end of the day, something like a, a, a review, a third party review, of the people that will be participating on a large RFP, I mean, that's something that nobody else is going to be able to provide. So leverage those things in those RFPs and use them as value props in order to push that uh, bid over the top. And Jeff and, and David, one more quick thing. You know, we, uh, I know we have a couple prospects on, on the call as well. And so they might not really realize at what point 
the great recruiters platform engages, right? And okay. so, you know, this isn't just about, right, the people that uh, work for you, right? These are not candidates that are, are placed. Um, these are, are people that you've interacted with earlier on in the candidate's journey, right? And so they can still have a very good experience. And some of our clients work with, um, again, I, I, I do a lot on the healthcare side. So some of these hospitals are starting to, uh, to wake up and, and realize it's, it's 2021. And so they're, they're also starting to be concerned about what their reputation is, right? And, and kind of what their brand is. And so they're obviously being represented uh, by these specific staffing agencies, right? And so early on in the candidate's journey, you're going to have a lot of touches and you're only going to get through the funnel, right, to a, a small number, but you're still kind of representing your clients as well. And so it's really a nice way to say, look, even if this person never comes to work with us, maybe we just interviewed them, maybe we submitted uh, them, but they still had a really positive experience and that reflects, you know, on, on the client as well. Nice. Uh, Jeff, this David. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, David. Do we, yeah, do we have another question there? Yeah, this one might be geared a little bit more towards you. I don't know if we have a plan in place for this yet, um, but is there a plan for great recruiters to, you know, to push and promote this more? Um, I know, I know, we have a landing page on the website, but through our social media and such. So we we do have some uh, stuff that's going to be coming up. Our social media campaigns are going to be adjusted um, soon. So we're on the cusp of rolling out some new campaigns for 2021. Um, there will be more announcements, more discussions around Great Recruiter Certified. Um, we're also going to be starting to reintroduce the some of the reviews that some of the uh, that that uh, are coming back into our system in order to have those celebrations. Um, and so, yeah, there there will be a, a stronger presence for Great Recruiter Certified going through our website and social media uh, as we come up. Quite frankly, um, you know, we, we were able to get the certification rolled out for the beginning of the year, which was, we felt the most important was making sure that our clients had the things, the tools that they needed to put them into a better situation, especially coming off of the pandemic, like anything we could do to help provide you more was really the focus. Um, and so, you know, we back Bernard you know, some of the things that we need to do internally, but all of that stuff is going to be pushing out probably over the next couple of weeks. You'll start to see some changes. Beautiful. It looks like there's one last one in here. Uh, how are clients using review data to manage and improve their processes? Uh, how do they reward their teams? Um, so I can speak to that one a bit. Um, I mean, beyond the, the, the social aspects and, and the promotional aspects that, that Jeff kind of touched on, you know, from an internal standpoint, there's, again, you know, we, we kind of touched on this as well, but a lot of great, you know, coaching and learning opportunities, whether that's a one-on-one -on -one with that recruiter or salesperson or rolling it out across the team have had multiple uh, current clients, probably some of you who are on the call, you know, share stories. We've been able to take um, some of that feedback and, and you know, uh, one of the, one of your processes was cumbersome to the candidates that you were kind of, you know, you were not aware of that, but bringing to light these kind of situations um, and and things like that. Uh, from a from a reward standpoint, a lot of our partners, um, again, some of you on the call, are incentivizing your recruiters and salespeople. You know who can get to that individual great recruiter certification. Um, you know who has the highest referrals or the highest review count or best response rate for the quarter, and just keeping the platform front of mind really embracing that feedback loop into the company culture and, um, you know, making it, um, you know, more ingrained into that, um, um, lost my train of thought again, uh, the, the, like the onboarding and, um, you know, new hire process as well, incorporating great recruiters earlier in the process when these folks are just coming in, um, especially if they're new recruiters, meaning not just new with your company, but new in the industry. Uh, really seen, uh, heard from a lot of partners that they've been able to coach these new recruiters up way faster through this feedback that they're receiving. Um, so some good uh, tips there, hopefully. Awesome. And, you know, I do see that there's one other, I think it's uh, maybe, I don't, I hope I'm not mispronouncing it, um, but uh, getting feedback on, uh, on candidates new to the company is great. However, what affects uh, his business is retention. So what are we doing to give a current employees uh, in the field of voice, not just new applicants to our organization? Uh, I'm not exactly sure, like, I might be misunderstanding, like, how that's laid out. Um, but 
Uh, David, do you want to sort of speak to that? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I understand the gist of the question there. Um, mm -hmm. But one thing we recommend doing for, you know, new customers who come on the platform is going back anywhere from the previous, you know, one to six months, whatever you're comfortable with, and soliciting those that you guys have already hired. Um, you know, obviously they're, they're in a position, they're on assignment, whatever it may be. You know, you still want to know that they had a good experience with your team. And, you know, will you be able to bring them back, to rehire them, to replace them? Um, and part of that configurable review, one thing we're looking at is kind of a, what we're going to call it the on assignment package. Um, so really you're able to, you know, say you first solicit with the recruiter at uh, the interview stage. But there's so much more to that candid life cycle after that interview point. So what this on assignment review would do would essentially you'd be able to gather feedback from these um, candidates, you know, during week one of placement essentially halfway through their placement and then at the end of their placement. So you can gather feedback at different points throughout the process with these configurable reviews um, and really kind of get that full 360 picture and, um, you know, their perception. And, and again, that's where that retention comes in. You know, if at, you know, the halfway point, people are, are becoming, you know, less happy or there's less touch points from your team, those are things that you want to know about and we can help bring those to life. You know, I, I do want to also just like uh, like leave off with one uh, one little tidbit too, right? You know, we talk a lot about like the the process, the um, the feedback, the transparency, the data, um, and being able to like make and do improvements. And a lot of that tends to um, a lot of that tends to end up falling into this category of you know something went wrong uh, and it wasn't done right. And obviously, we the good reviews are great, but like a lot of times the changes are are uh, created from the fact that like maybe there was a bad experience or something didn't work right. Um, I think those, those are all warranted, but from an organizational perspective, you have the ability to leverage this however you'd like internally at your organization. And so, you know, you too can like lean on the findings and, and celebrate your, uh, recruiters and, you know, maybe create some gamification components internally at your organizations. Like there's a lot of opportunities that you can do to be able to not just get the improvement, but also get buy-in and have this be a really good cohesive um, component to your organization and, and, you know, again, really move the industry in the right direction, right? So, uh, but that's just my two cents. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, guys, uh, that pretty much wraps up the first Great Recruiter Fireside Chat. Uh, hope this was a, you know, in-depth, um, you know, explanation of that Great Recruiter certification. Hopefully it built some excitement, um, you know, around this as we continue to grow out this program. Jeff, thanks for stepping in um, for Adam today. We'll, uh, we'll send our uh, best wishes from everyone to him. But yeah, if you guys have any questions on anything that was covered today, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, always available again to jump on a call or toss some emails back and forth. Um, and again, this is being recorded and we'll get this out, Jeff, but by the end of the week ish. End of today. Nah, are you kidding? Technology? We'll send end it out today. So everybody will get a copy of this end once we have it uploaded. Um, it'll also go on our website. Uh, that probably won't happen until tomorrow, but yeah, we'll make sure that everybody has a copy. Beautiful. Um, and then, yeah. Um, we're going to, again, continue doing these fireside chats. Um, so stay tuned for information on, uh, on what's more to come on fireside chat number two. Appreciate it, guys. Everyone, uh, have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks.